welcome back everyone i'm craven and this is chrono cross last time we entered this well i think it's best to describe as a parallel universe where things are slightly different where certain events hasn't played out as they would in the world where we come from and right now there's one place we need to go because lena suggested it to us and that is by going to the cape Let's see what we can find there at least it was something that we needed to see. So we try to skip the enemies or... Well... Yeah, I might as well defeat one of them. If we can decide where to beat them or not, just do it 50-50. <laughs> and also just to uh, get back into the fighting a little bit. Yeah, Serge can uh, take care of the beach boom. Wow. Talk about a bad start to an episode. It could be because I'm arrogant of trying to want to go level 2 even with 79%, but in my mind that should be more than possible. It's all a matter of luck. You cannot rush luck, even at 91%. <laughs> We'll make it happen. For sure, can you finish it? Yeah, these enemies are not too bad so far. And uh, like I said uh, before, I have. Well, I've not grinded for experience because the game doesn't have that. I have grinded some materials and I haven't gotten any status uh, increases anymore so I'm wondering if I have had everything that I can or if I still need to keep on fighting until I get even a bit more. Because what I understand from a friend of mine is that because I asked him to explain it to me because I wanted to be certain that I didn't miss anything is that when you get a star level uh, you get like a big increase for multiple stats then for an undetermined certain amount of fights you get like one point in one region and it ends usually with another big pile of experience and then you're done for that bandwidth that you can gain extra experience but in our case we only had one big one and we hadn't got any additional one stat after that. So it's making me very curious whether or not we're done or not. So with the next star level we get, I want to pay some extra attention to that. Just to make sure that that's what's happening. But yeah, now we are here. At the monument in our world. Let us call it our world and the parallel world. Uh, it was a monument to Lina and me in our relationship. And I already suspect what this is going to be, of course. Let's look at it. <laughs> Partial uh, a respectful distance. <laughs> Show us what we already know, what we suspect. There's something written on the tombstone. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Our beloved Surge died age 7. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So yeah. And definitive confirmation that in this world I have died. I drowned. <laughs> it looked like I don't believe it. It cannot be true. So you must be the ghost of the boy who died 10 years ago, Serge. What? Did he just kick my dog? What a bunch of assholes. Oh, they're definitely gonna get a, a beating from me. Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be good boy and come with us. But Sir Karsh, 
Do you think it's truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. Ah, that doesn't matter. We found the boy here, as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him! Hold your seahorses! There she is. Miss Kid. Who the? Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Oh, shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. You're a problem? Do you have a sh shaking idea who you're dealing with, Missy? Ah, that's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you, so just come with us. Or else, this ex of mine will have to do the talking. Yeah, the best way to sell to somebody that you're not gonna hurt them is gonna be threatening them with an axe. Yeah, not the best plan. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, we should just shut up and get on with it. I'm gonna kick your sorry asses so hard you'll kiss the moons. Hm. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll get this, missy. Alright. Uh, I'm sure we can do this. Hopefully we'll get another star from this. Okay, so Karsh is the main target, so... Salt and pepper. <laughs> Salt and pepper's here. <laughs> and who is in the back? Yes, Karsh. Alright, I'm gonna go with the additional two first, because I'm assuming that car is gonna be the stronger one. So they are both yellow and he's green. Okay, I don't think that plays into anything right now in the first round, we just need to build up the elements before we use it. Sir, his innately innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attacking with the opposite color attribute color. Black. How unfortunately unfortunate, sir. I do not seem to have any. Ah, you nincompoop. You should always carry elements of every color. Then uh, how about you there? I, I'm shaking in my boots to tell you, sir, but uh, I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Car, show us how it's done. Ah, useless fools! Uh, real men don't need magic when they fight with their might. <laughs> he forgot it too. <laughs> but that's good. Alright, let's switch over to, uh, for now, girl. <laughs> and we're gonna keep uh, attacking the one we perceive as the weakest. And I think we already know that um, if the character that's attacking is not being disturbed while the other one attacks, we'll keep the hit rate. Which is really nice. Okay, so have, do we have, what kind of element do we want to use? I don't think I have anything attack worthy that goes against their element. So it's going to be nice. But still. Uh, I'm going to wait. I want to see how easy it is to take him down first. But then we can probably assume that Pepper is about the same uh, range. Oh, wait, wait, I want to see what she has. Uh, fireball, magma bomb for everybody, and another fireball. So, oh, well, this is actually a, a question that I had in my head. Like, can you equip two same elemental attacks? In your setup and apparently you can this is really good so what i want to do right now because we still have three characters in front of us and this is an all enemy attack i think it would be wise to use it now because if we take down salt the rest will also be damaged in the process yes there he goes very nice 
Okay, so we got uh, two left, which is not a lot, so maybe use Photon Ray to do some damage there. Thirty-seven. That's a really nice hit. All right, let's uh, do some attack to uh, see if we can regain a bit of stamina. And it looks like the four is not long for this fight. Even shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> she's over the girl because she is full stamina. Right, Karsh? We're on our way. I do love his axe, though. Really nice weapon. Let's push the element. I'm going to use Fireball too, because we already have a little bit of uh, fire in the field effect. So the damage will be increased a little bit more even so. And of course, with the plus two that's on it. Surge, you can uh, keep on attacking. Yeah, he's definitely hurt. All right, oh, I need more stamina. Too shabby. And yes, and there is the new star. So let's see with this basically range of level if we can get what I think we should get. Like one big one, a couple of small ones, and one big one to the end. Alright, HP, strength, and rest. And strength and magic for her. Power glove, ivory vest, and ivory helmet. Nice. So, Karsh, I, I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. Th th these aren't the ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Huh. You all right, mate? Search. Your name's Search, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Yes, kid. Yeah, because we know that from the uh, scene bef in the beginning of the game. Because we play with Search, kid, and a random third guy whose name I've already forgotten. <laughs> Call me Kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me off. The bloody hell off. I, I wish I could have uh, beaten one of them some more. But why was that mob after ya? What do you mean you've never even met them before, huh? Ah, forget it. Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> so, how about it, Serge? Maybe it was fate that we'd meet up like this. Alright. I have an idea. Because I know Kit is like a secondary main character, like she will always be part of the story. So if we refuse, will she actually leave? Because <laughs> she has to come back at some point. And for not making this choice, like invalid, 
there has to be a reaction for me refusing, right? Because I, I do want to fight with her, I do want to travel with her, but because she is, like Surge, a character that will be a great part of the story, she cannot stay away. It's not like if we refuse, the end the game, right? So, I want to see what happens if we refuse. Hmm? Hang on! Are you telling me you're gonna refuse my company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Vulnerable? You're stronger than Surge at this point. Hmm, let me think about it. Because it cannot be wrong, and we have different reactions. Not like she's standing in one place with the same tag, so we are doing something with this. Y you sure there, mate? You might live to regret it, you know. Okay, so I feel like we have one or more chances before maybe she'll actually leave. No, I I think I want to risk it. Because like I said, she's part of the main story, so there's no way in hell that if we let her go, that she'll never come back. And if it is true, then I'm very curious to see how the game handles that. So, no, I'm going to stick to my guns. You go ahead, I don't want to push it into danger. I can deal with it myself. Me and my dog can do anything. She's well, have it your way, mate. Is she actually going? <laughs> to be honest, I didn't fully expect that. <laughs> I thought by the last time she would just force herself into our party. Is she gonna do it now then? I'll be heading up north to a town called Termina. Uh, I'll be getting it be getting dark pretty soon. Well, see ya. Nope, she's gone. <laughs> Interesting indeed. Ah, <sighs> thank God, Partial's back. Ah, it was terrible. They should be kind to animals. I'm still debating with myself whether or not to keep talking with the uh, tongue that Poshel does. Because to be honest, I do like it that they type it that way, like they're having a personality to what the person is saying. But it does make, make it a little bit less uh, understandable when you're hearing it. Even though it is accurate to the story. So like, like I said, I'm still debating it in my head where to keep it up. <laughs> Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found uh, you here though. Search, right? Kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident that hit your head. And that's why your memory is all messed up. You are really someone else. But you think you're the Search who died 10 years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. And... You don't seem like a, such a bad person either. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? Lina joined the party. Nice. Yeah, and... I think, if I remember correctly, 45 people can join our party. So she is one of many. And a good one at that. Because uh, she's basically a childhood friend who has never been able to become my girlfriend. So maybe we can rectify that. That she's the girlfriend in the our world and the parallel uh, one. <laughs> okay, let's head to Termina. Let's. Pashushu! Full speed ahead! Alright, so we got some equipment. Can we use it straight away for Lina to get her up to scraps? Ooh, she uses the spatula. Okay, I thought it was gonna be the cook uh, that we saw in the village that uh, was gonna be that. Every vest is. Which is better? <laughs> Seems like magic defense and normal defense of seven. Oh, I'm looking at the 
totally wrong location. I was looking at the upper stat like strength, grass, magical, and magical resistance while the stats were below that. Okay, so we're going from 8 to 7 and 11 to 10, so it's worse. Yeah, we're gonna keep the male for now. Uh, we have an ivory helmet. And we got a power glove. Improves attack power. Eh, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, what kind of elements does she have? Uh, she has a lot of elements and it looks... Oh, sorry. Like everything is empty. So we can give her what ever we want you yeah, definitely want to give her a magma bomb mm, I want to make it as powerful as possible a magma bomb plus one and uh, maybe a turn red I haven't even looked at what kind of element she is but that will come later and then do we have a cure we do so give her that as well which is basically so that uh, after a normal fight, everybody can cure themselves. Uh, do you want to keep off the fire element? Because I haven't even checked what she actually is. Uh, let's give her a yellow and a white one in the middle. Just to make it a little bit diverse. No, I think I'm going to do one fireball and one electrogel just to uh, mix up the elements. And I'm pretty sure I will switch it at some point just to make it more uh, cohesive. Uh, she is water. So having fire creates an elemental feel opposite to what she can handle. Nah, it will be, it will be fine, it will be fine. <laughs> like I said, if it gets too bad, we can always change it up. No! Ah, screw it. Let's go. Let's uh, let the Komodo be in his darkness. What? You again? Ah, give me a break, man. What do you want from me? I told you. I don't know any surge or march. <laughs> Earth roof. Alright, let's check out the store. See if there's anything different. Let's talk to a few people to see if the texts have changed. Look, that is going to be another scorcher today. It hasn't rained in quite a while. I don't know how much longer us old timers can stand this heat. By the way, I wonder if those uh, knights are still digging that hole. I don't know what those terminal knights are up to, but I hear they're digging up Fossil Valley. I'm sure General Viper has a good reason, but why would they want to dig up a place like that? Hello, can I interest you in something? Great elements. No, I'm more interested in weapons and armor. So I think daggers would probably be for a kid who is in our party. She's wearing a spatula. And everybody has a male, so we don't need to make the vest because that's worse. And everybody's wearing a helmet. So there's nothing that she can make to help us. Okay, and there's also one person I want to check out, and that is the guy worshipping that strange little doll. Because it looked weird, so I want to keep uh, talking to him, seeing if we can convince him to become a sailor once again. Ah, I can't comprehend my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There was a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now. Praying to that silly looking doll day and night. Ha, what has gotten into him? Hmm. Maybe if we steal that doll from him, then he has to become a man of the sea. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Really? Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How about our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear? 
our spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows, how we live a meaningless uh, today. This holy item filled with prayers protects and supports us. Come on, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind within Mojo? No, no, we're not gonna join your little cult. Let us pray together, my brother. No answer. It seems to be just a straw doll. Yeah, but we can interact with it. Uh, let's see, X was the button. Let's put a commode, a, a shark tooth. Like the power of uh, the accomplishment of the other universe will revive Mojo. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Yeah, I do feel there's more going on with the Mojo than we see right now, but uh, we'll come back. Because we have a full party right now with uh, Lina and Porschel, so we are good to go. <laughs> the pierce up ahead, listen, don't be doing any mischief uh, to them boats. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen, but I guess outsiders like you wouldn't understand. No, we'll definitely won't. Hey, newbie, you uh, find my sister yet? You alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, hello, she's in my party. <laughs> Could you acknowledge her existence? <laughs> hey, hey, stranger, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? Bracelets made from rainbow shells. I want to get some for Kiki, but those shells are hard to find. Oh no, if I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. Okay, so this is probably going to be a very hard item to get. So if we eventually find some of those, or an enemy that drops it, we gotta remember to come back and give him a few. Just to help him with his uh, very premature love life. Well now, you're in Arnie. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? This is much excitement here, but please relax and stay a while. Alright, so we need to go through the canyon. Uh, the terminal. There's one place I want to check out. That is here, because there were some people uh, searching the cave and said we need to get out. I want to see if they are still there. Let's have a quick look. Yep, they're still there. So there's no need for us to uh, go check it out because they will not let us in. I'm pretty sure. Because I'm curious what's in here. Maybe it's different than uh, our universe, because at our place. There was nobody here, and here there are dragon uh, people. Our excavation is nearly complete. Just stick to the low path and make your way through. We still have some of our men working on the high ground, so don't interfere with their work. Okay, so we are allowed to go through now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can find. Especially in the enemy department. Because new enemies, new materials, new things we can potentially make. And of course, potential extra stats. Our oh, small dogs. is a, a good way for Lina to uh, get into combat. They're attacking each other. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we have anything to fear from uh, these little uh, doggos. Lina, show us what you can. Is the spoon? I thought it was gonna be. Of course, yeah, that is what a spatula is. But why did I have in my head that it was like a frying pan? This is mainly the reason why I thought it was gonna be the cook in our own universe. Still a very nice weapon, though. Yeah, and I think if we do decide to just go with a single party, like, because of uh, the work to increase the stats of every party member. I do want to pick party members that are a little bit out there. So not the normal soldier, but rather a dog and a girl with a spoon. That's going to be much more interesting to watch.
I do wonder if there's going to be like unique uh, abilities later on if they level up. Yes, give me all the stats. Because if they don't get any of their own unique abilities, then they will only have what I give them. And meaning that despite the random stats, every character is nothing more than a template that looks different. So I really am hoping that later on, if it is by finding elements that can only be equipped by certain people, or they get it from gaining uh, stars from bosses or anything like that. I really do hope so. I really do. We are investigating a supernatural phenomenon up there. It is off limit to the... Hey. Are you the exorcist we sent for? Should we lie about this? I feel like we should lie about this. Yes, we are. Oh, great. I thought you'd be a little older. Please, make your way up the rope ladder. <laughs> Alright. If it's so easy to buy by security, we just... Got to, right? Are you the exorcists? You're younger than I expected. Anyway, do you hear that howling from uh, down yonder? All we want you is to stop that noise. I don't believe in ghosts, but go do what you have to do. Alright, I'm curious what it is. Hopefully, I didn't uh, bite up too much. <laughs> they say there's a ghost in Arnie village, and now this mysterious howling. Why must we conduct such strange investigations? I just hope it's not some kind of omen. It is, so you might better leave. Tent? No one's uh, been down there yet. There might be a monster that'll bite your head off. Why am I in charge here? It's only my first day of the job. Okay, let's look around, see if we can talk to everyone before going down. Okay. Skeleton? Nyak, nyak, nyak. Look like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting for forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, huh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body, and I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, don't you? But uh, I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body parts. So, how about it? Will you find me, buddy? Yeah, sure. Why not? Nyak, nyak, nyak. Yeah. I'm uh, happier than I look, but I hope you don't mind. And uh, don't swing me around too much, I'll start feeling nauseous. <laughs> Received heavy skull. Alright. <laughs> Why not? Does that stop the howling too? Or is it something different? Skulls are not supposed to jump around. You must have used some kind of supernatural trick. Anyway, we'll take care of the rest, so please be on your way. Just uh, send your invoice to Viper Manor. Thank you. So that was actually it. That was the noise they wanted us to get rid of. I think I can moonlight as an uh, exorcist now. For definite. <laughs> I'm glad that was taken care of. I wonder how Sir Karsh is doing, you know? With the Isle of the Damned incident and all. Uh, it's nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> right, I still want to talk to everybody. Okay, this is still the same. So, uh, there might be an actual monster down there, so let's wait for that a bit. What the? That's a monster? Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. uh, Drongo and a Dodo. I'll go with Drongo. Detect me, so my hit rate will be back to. So we might as well switch over to a new person to build up. And the base third can uh, regain his uh, lost stamina. Okay, so they look bigger, but they're still in the same range of combat, so that's more than fine. Belina, can you finish him off? Not enough. Oh well. 
so little. Yeah, and we'll need to see, based upon what the enemy does against us, if we're gonna give other enemies priority over others. 87 was not enough. I thought that would definitely hit us. Well, it's definitely the stronger one of the group. Is he putting his head down yet? Not even. What are you? Ooh, I want to use another element, but I'm gonna switch it up. Then we will as well. So what? Oh, magma bomb. No. Uh, I didn't even check what it was. Was it? Dodo is white. Yeah. So black or anything but white. Oh, he is pissed. They're going for a full yellow field effect. <laughs> Does it give us at least some extra damage? It should, right? Yep, it does. Yeah, I don't want to know what that bird was planning to do. <laughs> HP 3, 1 and 1. Seed and Feather. Yeah, I don't know what that plant is. Uh, Search picked the Bellflower gently. Yeah, I don't know what it's used for, maybe just the material for equipment. But since it's something I can pick up, I want it. Can we talk to you or. Why can't they walk over the skeleton we can't? Let's leave it at that for now, and uh, we'll be back to go down there, but that guy is scared and he's saying monster down there. So I want to prepare first before we even try it. And let's see if we can continue on to go in to Termina. And hopefully a new shop with weapons and more possibilities to make stuff. Wow, that was quick. I'm glad we called in a professional to do the job properly. Actually, there was a man claiming to be a priest who came by earlier. Of course I sent him back, he was certainly a fake. I can't believe he would try to fool us like that. Anyway, thank you very much for a job well done. Very friendly fellas. Yeah, it does mean that not everyone in an army needs to be in... I think those are Karsh men, aren't they? Hmm, let's see how they're doing. Ah, <sighs> shake it. Uh, we can't just shake it on the back to the manor like this. We failed in our mission. Ah, that was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch. B -b 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 By the way, do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? Hmm. Well, just something justly uh, like uh, that, Pepper. Oh, 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 I remember. So he looked like that, huh? Actually, it is him, Pepper. So, so you're, you're sure about that? Wonderfully wonderful timing, Pepper. Let, let, let's shake it. We're gonna go shake it to you this time. Okay, I have to be honest, I did not expect that. This time I made sure to bring a black element with me, Pepper. Good work. We'll shake it up and attack him with it. Affirmatively, affirmative, Pepper. Yeah, that won't be enough. I'm sorry, you two. Oh, dearie, dear. That, that, that was no black attack element you just uh, used right now. It was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite color. White, wasn't it? I, I'm afraid you're right. 
How terribly terrible. Oh, you did bring a white attack element with you, didn't you? You didn't bring one with you. You're more stupid than I thought. Uh -huh. How awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't, Pepper. Ooh, he's going all out with strength. <laughs> attack temporarily increased. Hmm. Might uh, focus on him then. Just attack and elemental him down. And Lina has the group attack. So use Magna Bomb to seriously damage them. And then Poshul can at least take the one out that has the attack up. <laughs> and he misses. Beautiful. Just like I want it. Okay, that's good. Low res. Probably destroy your defensive power, yes. Alright, we can handle that. Switch over to search. And then finish it off with a single elemental attack. Which we do not have anymore. <laughs> oh, we need more slots so we can equip more attacks. Definitely. It's not like they have much left. Somersault. Ooh, that seemed like a really nice attack. Nice. I wouldn't mind having a somersault attack. Also, a different logo in front of it than the rest. Oh no, another star. Okay, so I think we need to keep in mind that whenever we get a star, we do not progress the story until we uh, basically pumped out everything we can get for a star. That's a big level. And uplift, okay. Retreat! Let's shake it on out of here. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos. All right, are we out of the area now? It's not a very big one, is it? It's just like a way to pass on through. So a lot of big area outside to uh, look at and see what we can find. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave it here. Next time we're going to enter, well... Hopefully, I want to check out the surrounding area first of the map, see where we can go, see what kind of interactions, because we know we need to go to Termina to continue on the main story. So I want to see what we can find on the other locations. Because we've got a buddy skull now with us, and he needs body parts. So maybe we can find that in other areas already. So we're going to try that. And in between this episode and the next one, I will go back into the valley and fight monsters until we get no more stat points. Just that we squeeze everything out of it that we can. So, until next time, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time when we enter Termina. Bye-bye.